What up, my dudes? It's Space Roach, and oh my god, Batman is here, and it's freaking awesome! Y'all, this might be game of the year. I've been playing it for the last four days. The story is fantastic. The gameplay is crazy immersive. There's collectibles everywhere. There's so much stuff to do. Uh, guys, this game is fucking good. So in this installment of the Arkham series, a VR only installment, might I add. In this installment of the Arkham series, we get to see a brand new bad guy. We're talking about the Rat King, one we haven't seen in one of the Arkham games before. Basically, you're playing as Batman, and you're trying to, you know, obviously you're trying to take down the Rat King because that's what Batman does. He tries to take out the main bad guy. And you have to figure out who the hell he is, which means going undercover as a prison inmate. Part of the game you spend being Batman by night and a prison inmate by day. It's really crazy, guys. The game has hand-to-hand -hand combat, it has puzzles, it has choices. It has areas that you can go back to and do more stuff in. It has Frodo doing the voice of Dr. Jonathan Crane for freak's sake. The gameplay itself is incredibly smooth. Um, I've talked a lot of smack on climbing ladders in VR games. This is really smooth and natural feeling. Unfortunately, you end up almost never doing it because you have a grappling hook. There's so many bat gadgets in this game. You get the grappling hook. You get the battering. You get pocket sand. You get all these crazy moves. You can missile drop kick somebody from the top rope. Okay, maybe there's not a top rope, but you can missile drop kick people in the face. That's awesome. Of course, being the prison inmate version of Batman, Alfred has to set you up a makeshift bat cave, drop you little toys here and there to help you along your quest, and also help you unlock different areas as you go. And there are hours, hours of gameplay, my dudes. I played this one for about eight hours so far. 30% of the way into the game. I've been walking around trying to find all the collectibles and stuff. There's so much game to play to this. And I hope this gameplay video is doing a halfway decent job of conveying to you what it feels like to be Batman inside of this game. Because it's unreal, my dudes. This this is seriously... Okay, I'm going to go beyond saying game of the year. This is at least a top three all-time VR game for me. And I know it just came out today, so I'm not going to spoil anything, dudes. Go out and play it. I just want to tell you, this is absolutely AAA VR. And it's got me so very excited. And I know I've been sitting here glossing this game really hard. Maybe it's the shine from having played it for the last four days and just being really sucked into it. But I mean, the fact that I've been playing it for four days and just really sucked into it has me wanting Alfred, to talk about it this way. I mean, it's, it's just great, y'all. And it's out now, so you can totally just find out for yourself. If you bought a Quest 3S or recently bought a Quest 3, you already have it. Go download it. Go play it. If you already had a Quest 3 before, maybe consider going out and getting this one. It's really good. Anyway, I'm going to get back to playing it. There's going to be a live stream on this one tomorrow. Highly freaking recommended game, my dudes. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop and watch my video. As always, like and sub if you enjoyed. And until next time, my dudes, live long and prosper. This is Space Bat VR.